SAS video tutorial on One Way Innova in SAS. So, we're going to pick up using the CyclerCPK.csv data. I know you're probably sick of it, but you know what? It's there, it's easy, and most of you have already downloaded it by now if you've been following along with the videos. If you haven't, you can get the data from the repository in the link below, and there are other videos that will show you how to import this data. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is I've imported this into my work directory. It's in the file called Cycler. I look at it. Now, what I'm interested in is are there differences across treatment groups? And we'll just look at CPK4. At the last measurement, did the treatment cause any differences among the treatment groups? So this is pretty easy to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a new procedure, not PROG, but PROC. GLM for general lot or general linear model. The data we're going to use is going to be our cycler data. Now we're going to have a statement in here called class and this is going to be the same value as our treatment. So this is what we're looking for differences across and we're also saying class is another way to say that this is actually groupings and not an individual value. Uh, we're going to do model and our output is CPK4 that's what we're interested in, equals the treatment. Now, if I simply run this and then quit, because sometimes SAS doesn't like to quit, uh, we will get our output and we can quickly look to see if there are any differences across treatments. Now, this video isn't going to tell you how to find them. Uh, it's just going to tell you if there exists any differences. So let's give this a go and see what kind of information ProcGLM will give us. Okay, so the first thing you see is ProcGLM created us a side-by-side -side box plot, which is going to be really, really handy, okay? Uh, so you can see that just visually, the high group has a much lower CPK uh, than does the none group, which had no treatment. We had low treatment, medium, and high. So it doesn't look like medium and high are that different, nor does it low that, uh, look that low and no are very different. But it does look like the other two, there's like two groupings here that are different. Okay, so we can actually come up here and check this because we have an ANOVA table. And what we're interested in is the uh, ANOVA table here, which uh, for all these ANOVA tables are exactly the same because it's one way. We're interested in this p-value right here. This p-value is telling us for our null hypothesis that all of them are the same. So each and every mean is the same for CPK1, CPK2, CPK3, and CPK4, versus at least two of them differ. So from this, you'll quickly see that the p-value is extremely small, which would indicate that differences do exist across these treatment groups. Okay, so let's go back here real quick and put a little bit of information in here. So for one way and over our hypothesis... Uh, for this particular data and is going to be H naught, which is our null hypothesis. And I'm just going to call these mu1 equals mu2 equals mu3 equals mu4. And each one of these mu's corresponds to the mean for each of the treatment groups. We had a none, we had a low, we had a high. Uh, and we had uh, a medium. Okay, the alternative is at least two differ. Okay, you have to have two to differ. So at least two mu differ. Okay, so that's what our alternative hypothesis is. This runs this. Our test statistic is actually the value that we get uh, from the F test. So the F test is this F value here, that's actually our test statistic, but we're going to get a P value from it. So we can actually put this in here. So our P value that we got out of this is less than 0 0.001. Uh, so this implies by almost anybody's level of significance that there do exist differences across the treatment group. Okay, so that's that's what we're we're gonna say. We're gonna reject H naught. We're gonna say at least two of them are different. So there are some differences in there. Now this doesn't tell us where those differences exist, and that's what we're gonna do in our next video. So just stay tuned and watch the next video.